Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. I'm Nick Santiago. Today is Thursday, June 2nd, 2011. Yesterday, what a day it was for the markets. A complete bloodbath and destruction out there. Everything was taken to the woodshed. Um, again, the U.S. dollar index started the day yesterday much lower, as did the market. The market continued to sell. The dollar caught a bid, and it was all all said and done after that. The market really getting uh, hit hard. The Dow is down 280 points. That is the biggest one-day decline in almost one year time, almost a one-year anniversary decline. So I guess the last time the market was down that significantly, you have to go back to June 4th, 2010. Um, pretty amazing how that almost happens uh, just about one year to the day. But in any case, uh, markets were down sharply today. Futures are trading higher by about two points at the moment, two and a quarter, um, to right around 13, 14, spot 25. Uh, what can you say? Uh, it was just an absolute sell-off. Uh, markets really just were hit across the board, led by the financial stocks, and we'll take a look at some of those in a few minutes. First, let's take a look at the U.S. dollar index. You can see the U.S. dollar index is trading lower today, down about 29, 30 cents. Uh, at the moment, we go to a daily chart. You'll see yesterday you had a little bit of a pop today coming back down. There's still a fair amount of support around this level, or maybe a slight bit lower for the U.S. dollar index. I'll say you have to watch the, um, I'm going to say 74.25 area, right around that level. There is going to be some uh, pretty decent support. So we'll keep an eye on that area. But here's the U.S. dollar index selling off pretty sharply today, and that is helping to inflate the markets a little bit, but I'm not sure it will even matter anymore. Um, today, you're probably going to look at more of a subdued trading day since yesterday was down so sharply. Um, generally, you don't get back-to-back -back, um, sell-offs like that, but you never know. Uh, the problems out of, Europe, out of the European Union are growing by the minute. Today, uh, the Spanish auctioned off some debt, and supposedly the auction went well. But the market is not stupid. The market knows if that auction went well, it's probably because somebody, um, one of the central banks, helped to, helped to buy those bonds, and um, you know the markets have that game figured out already, or they or they may be tired of it. Um, even though the market bought into the to the whole um, propping of the markets for a while, it may not be working any more, any longer like it did in the past. So again, you have to watch um, the reaction in the U.S. dollar index, also in the euro, and um, we'll see where it goes from there. But again, the Spanish did have what they call a successful auction. I think they um, auctioned off 4 billion, 4 billion euro worth of, of bonds this morning. Um, but again, you know, who's buying those bonds? That's going to be the real question there. Uh, Greece is a mess. It looks like it's going. it got cut by Moody's yesterday, I believe, from uh, B1 to C, um, AA1, which is really just before it becomes a, a junk bond. And so again... You know, they're, they're looking for restructuring. Uh, meanwhile, they just were bailed out a year ago. Uh, what is going to happen with Portugal? What's going to happen with Ireland? Are they going to look for restructuring now too? Probably so. What's going to happen with Spain and Italy that are on the, on the cusp of getting real bailouts, even though the uh, ECB, the European Central Bank, has been buying bonds? All of these questions still linger and um, creating uncertainty for the markets. And again, the United States could be, you know, equal to about 50 Greece uh, countries. So just realize that there's, you know, heavy debt here as well. And, um, you know, you have the debt ceiling crisis going on in the United States. Will it be raised? Of course it's going to be raised. Um, this is just a scare tactic to get the politicians in there to vote for uh, an increase in the debt ceiling, if you ask me. But in any case, we'll see where it goes and we'll see how it plays out. There are a couple of other things you want to take note of. Last night, the Asian markets were just decimated. You had the Nikkei down about 1.7%. The Hang Seng was down about 1.6%. The Shanghai was down 1.4%. And then you had uh, the Sensex, which is India, down about um, just six tenths of one percent, but Australia was crushed. Australia is very, very heavy, heavily related to all commodities, precious metals, and things of that nature, as well as you know copper, uh, zinc, iron. Uh, Australia index, the ASX, was down uh, over two percent last night. So that's a big, big decline. So we'll see how this market plays out. Again, the futures are really not up all that much today. Um, starting the day just up, a, a, you know, two points. Actually, a dollar, a dollar fifty now. Um, 
to uh, 1,313 uh, spot 75. So again, not a great move here. Keep an eye on the U.S. dollar index. It's going to be very, very important. Now, oil is upticking just a touch today. Uh, it was hit yesterday pretty hard. Um, today, you have the USO in the pre-market uh, trading right around this uh, 39.52 level, and that's pretty much where it closed uh, yesterday at 4 o'clock. So USO is right at that uh, same area. GLD, gold actually held held some gains yesterday. The GLD closed at 149.91. Today GLD is trading right at 150. So basically flat there. Silver on spot is selling off just a touch. Um, SLV closed at 35.75. Today it's trading at 35.93. Spot silver is just down a little bit. So we'll watch those precious metals going forward. Also we'll watch crude closely. I don't see any major reactions at the moment. Okay, it looks like jobless claims are out for the week. Initial jobless claims just being released here at 8.30 a.m. Um, it looks like they're down 420, oh, initial claims 422,000. So we'll see how the markets are moving. It looks like we're getting a little bit of an uptick. That's not a good number though. Again, that is not a good number. I don't know um, how much the market will move on this. I don't think it will be all that, that big of a factor, but that is not a good number to get 422,000 initial claims. Really not what, uh, what you're looking for if you're Ben Bernanke. But in any case, um, we'll see how this uh, will all play out. But weekly U.S. jobless claims um, move to 422,000. Uh, it's actually a decrease from last week, which I believe was 428,000. So, But uh, it's still a terrible number at this at this stage of the business cycle, the market should be producing, uh, you know, much less uh, weekly initial claims. And you heard the ADP job number yesterday, just 38,000 new jobs created. We'll see what the government job report is tomorrow. A lot of traders, I believe, by the, by the middle of the afternoon or by, say, 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock in the afternoon, will be on pause for the government job number, which will be released tomorrow at 8.30. Now... The ADP report and the government job number have never really been all that close, and um, I don't expect it tomorrow. I think the government job report number is going to be much, much better because they have their pencil out right now um, making uh, corrections to that report as we speak after yesterday's sharp decline. So anyway, futures are inching up a little bit after this um, weekly uh, claims report. But we'll see how it uh, how it plays out. I wouldn't put too much into the into the market right now until the opening bell rings. Um, we could see some more downside, I think, right after the bell rings this morning. So uh, be very very cautious here. Take only the best patterns. Make sure you have stop losses in, um, and you have to watch this market really right after the opening bell. Couple of stocks that are trading higher. Let's go to uh, Apollo Group. Okay, this is uh, the education stock having a nice nice little bid. Um, trading higher this morning. Let's take a look and see what else we have here. I think DeVry, the same, the same industry group right there, also having a big, big pop there. So all these education stocks are on the move. You could watch uh, some sympathy plays there with some other leading education names. Um, on the downside, I think we have limited brands. And that is getting hit pretty hard this morning. Okay, so limited brands is getting hit pretty hard this morning that's down about ooh, that's pretty pretty sharp that's down over uh, five percent so that's a big move down and I think we have GPS if I'm not mistaken earlier yeah gap stores is down a little bit as well this morning so that's really all I'm seeing um, major movers on the upside and major movers on the downside so we'll keep an eye on all of that this morning those could be in play right at the open so again um, that's about it for today be very, very cautious. You do have the big government job number lurking tomorrow morning, and we'll talk about that in pre-market news and views tomorrow. With that said, um, have a great trading day, everybody, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care now.